going to talk a little bit about the RGB controller. Um, this comes non-waterproofed, so I pre-waterproofed it before you got this. And these connections for these RGB LED halos aren't uh, watertight, as you can see. They have these little tiny pins that uh, connect to the controller. So what you want to do is connect your pins and test your halos. They'll either work one way or they won't. It won't hurt either way, but um, once you get it on, I would recommend running a bead of uh, silicone around them. You can get it at any hardware store. And silicone around the entire joint, and then also go a little bit in between the wires and that heat shrink, so no water can get in there as well. And then you'll have your power input cord, which is a Type M barrel jack connection. It'll go on the side of the controller. So you plug that in. Then you want a silicone around that as well, just so no water can penetrate as well there. Um, I provide with two waterproof scotch locks. They have uh, dielectric grease inside them so no water can get in them. Otherwise, if you want to use an add -a fuse and tie it into a constant hot the key is on, it's an option as well. So, and one other thing about these um, controller is the infrared eye needs to have line of sight from the remote control otherwise you won't be able to turn through different functions so tuck it behind the headlight or behind the grill somewhere where you can point at it and it will change for you so if you have any other questions contact me at my email at projector retrofits at gmail.com thanks